Hey, I'm John Schneider here at CES 2017. Fargo 3D Printing checking out some of the different things going on this year. And I'm here at the Formlabs booth with Max Zieringer, and they have just released two new materials. Uh, so Max, why don't you tell us about the, the new materials that, uh, that have been announced? Yeah, sure. Um, nice to meet you. Um, we have two new materials. One is our new updated gray resin. It is more opaque, uh, has a matte finish, barely can see layer lines anymore. We're really we're happy with it. It's a great resin for modeling or anything else that needs a high surface, high quality surface finish. Um, it shows very nice details. And another one uh, that we just released is our ceramic resin. It's still in an exper experimental phase. We launched an experimental program. It's called uh, Form X. And it's a very nice resin. It has 60% uh, filler loading and it gives very nice solid parts uh, that can be fired or sintered in a kiln afterwards. And then upon firing, give you pure ceramic parts. So we're really happy with those. So how do you envision a customer using something like the ceramic material? It's really a tricky uh, question. Uh, there's a lot of possibilities. We have a few examples here. We have cups. There's definitely a lot of uh, varieties or possibilities in the art section, cups, uh, everything design related, jewelry, but it's also you can use it for machinable parts, you can, un in the unfired state, you can really use it for uh, parts that give you a certain robustness. Um, so in every engineering here right now, I have a rocket nozzle in my hand that we tested that works really nicely. Um, yeah, it's really unlimited possibilities with this resin and we're curious to see what our customers try to do with it and accomplish with it. Uh, we have a few examples here but I think there's way more that people can do with it. So uh, what are the, so you say it's got a 60% loading right now, so what sort of, uh, do you have any shrinkage percentages or anything that's consistent yet? Upon firing the shrinkage is between 18 and 20% depending on the volume and the shape of the model. Okay, and once it's been fired, temperature resistance, I'm guessing, similar to any other sort of ceramic? Similar to any other sort of ceramic. You fire it at temperatures up to 1200 degrees C. Uh, so everything to that uh, will work as well. Very cool. Um, so right now you said it's still in the experimental stage. Do you have a timeline on when it will be available for general release or is it available for purchase now? It is not available for purchase now. People who are interested in experimenting with it uh, or learning more about it um, should go to our homepage to the material section. There's a lot more information about the material, the mechanical properties, the firing cycle, and so on, and how we will distribute it. So uh, I would refer the people who are really interested in it uh, to our homepage and check out what's, what, where this resin is going. Yeah. So then I'm guessing price point also to be determined? There's no price point yet. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, anything else that you can think of for any of the other materials aside from the ceramic and the uh, and then the new gray resin? Any other new ones that are kind of cool to, to work with? I think we what we have released um, a while ago, or in uh, in fall 2016, was our high temp resin. It's a clear resin that is uh, temperature resistant up to 289 degrees Celsius. Um, it's very great for um, thermoforming applications or to test molds for injection molding. We have a little uh, blog post about a handheld or desktop injection molder that you can use it for. It's actually a design for enclosure for a USB stick. Okay. Um, another one in our engineering resin line is a durable resin. It has properties similar to polypropylene. It has a very smooth surface. Twists really nicely. Very nice. So how does the um, how does the how does the durable compare to the, something like the tough resin? Or what are the key differences between those two? The durable has a lower friction on the surface, uh, or lower surface friction. It's super useful for snap fit applications and for ball joints. Okay. Uh, if you hear that, nice plastic yeah. click. <laughs> and uh, well, our tough is uh, more impact resistant and. Uh, a bit stiffer. So then, I guess right before we jump into uh, talking to JJ about the uh, the new gray. So the new gray is uh, it's your highest resolution or finest detail resin at this point. It's 
it's up there. It's we have a few that have really high detail, really high resolution, like an hour dental resins. But among our standard resins, uh, clear, black, white, and gray, it's the top performer. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, Max, thanks. You answered a lot of my questions, and I hope Thank you have you. a good rest of CES 2017. Same to you. Right, thanks. Thank you. All right, so uh, doing the sound for the Form Labs interview with Max Zieringer. I'm, I'm going to apologize if I do end up butchering that a little bit. All right.